let's look at the weapons. So we'll, we'll think of this tier list again in terms of S. This is actually going to matter more because I think that this, this, this will actually be things that need a nerf or should probably get some kind of a nerf are an S. Things that need some kind of a buff go into D. And the point of balance is the B tier. A is above the point of balance. It's a little better. You want to be picking those up. You'll see people picking those up. B, it'll work for the early game. It'll get you some kills. And C is just, you're going to drop that. You're for sure dropping that for a better weapon. Starting with the alternator, I think that the alternator is the definition of the point of balance. I think that it's good. I, I wouldn't even say that it's good. I think it gets the job done in the mid game. The er sorry, the early, mid, and even the late game. It still does what it needs to. It's pretty accurate. It's easy to control. You can still get off good damage with an alternator. You're probably going to want to drop it for something better. And that's what would go into the A tier. And you're probably going to pick that up over something else, which would go in the C tier. Reason that the alternator is good and I would say is better than something like the Re45 is because the progression of this is that you have a re45 it might be able to kill somebody quicker than the alternator it's a little harder to control it's a little shorter range but it doesn't have a stock attachment and a lot of times you'll see that the upgrade path for this that you want to be doing with your weapon is a re45 to an alternator to an r99 or an r301 and i think that for short range, short to mid range, the 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 R99 is one of the best weapons that you can have for that, as well as the burst or select fire prowler. I think that these two are amazing weapons, but they're not quite S tier. I don't think they need a nerf. I think they the the R99 has had enough nerfs that it's in a good spot now. Recoil pattern uh, got adjusted. The mag size got adjusted. The Prowler with the Select Fire is solid. The Prowler with the Burst is the highest DPS in the game. So I would put both of these at A tier. R301 down into B tier. I think it's a good, solid point of balance weapon. Before it was nerfed, though, I think that this would have been an A tier weapon. I don't think it needed a nerf. I think that it was a solid laser beam of a gun, uh, That, but you could get away from it. Like, you didn't... If you got caught out, I think people have learned over time how to deal with getting caught out in the open and getting away from weapons that could laser them down. Um, charge rifle. I don't think that the charge rifle is very good anymore. I think it's slightly below the point of balance. You get four shots with this thing. It can still do a decent amount of damage. It's probably better for PC players than it is for controller players because you can track easier. Um, a little easier but I don't think that it would be on the B tier, which I would consider maybe a something like a longbow, a longbow at, at B tier. Um, I would think for the snipers category, maybe we'll just go through all of these quick. Uh, we would put the Sentinel down with the charge rifle. I don't think either of them are that great. I think they, they can get the job done if you need a sniper and you're trying to upgrade to a longbow or to a triple take the alternator be needs to be you like the re45 more than the alternator but the alternator so i i think of the alternator as an upgrade path to an r99 or an r301 because i would have this like this i would have i would want an r301 or an r99 above the uh, r99 but I agree, I agree from the point that this, that maybe they should go like this. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Because I think, I do think that the Re45 is a solid gun early game. I don't think you're going to be bringing it into late game. You can, but I don't know if you, if you should. You think R301's A tier? We'll see, we'll see where things land. I, I think it's somewhere between A and B. It's probably a B plus or an A minus. I just don't have enough tiers on here. <laughs> R99 S tier. S tier is something that needs needs a nerf, or it should have a nerf. I don't think that the R99 needs any any further nerfs than it's already had. It's had it's had enough. 
Um, I think it's in a decent spot now. A is the, A are the weapons that you're seeing people bring to late game. Uh, I guess that you are. I mean, we'll put R301 up here. You see people running R301 just because it's not my preference of a gun. People are probably bringing bringing this to to late game fights. The D Devo, the devotion. What would we say for the devotion? Everyone's saying havoc, havoc, havoc. This is the devotion, folks. This is the devotion. Um, I'm gonna say the De Devo, although it's a crate gun. We'll, we'll think of these in terms of, of of crate guns, right? I think the the Devo. It's probably an A tier. It's probably an A tier uh, for crate weapons. Um, I think it's better than than. Uh, well, maybe maybe all all the crate guns are up there now. I don't think it needs a nerf. It's obviously better than having a re45. You know, crate guns are supposed to be good. They should all be an A or S tier. I think that it's probably an A. I don't think it's, I don't think it's an S tier. Um, it's probably a little higher than these other weapons. Uh, if you're able to control this thing, I think a lot of newer players maybe aren't able to control it as well. And maybe it's not, it's not even an A tier weapon for them. It's tough to get used to an uh, HCOG bruiser if you're not used to that. Um, but regardless, I think it's an A, an A tier weapon. It doesn't need a nerf. I don't think it needs a nerf. I think it's it's a solid it's solid where it's at. All right, then we've got the Eva Eight. Eva, I think that that's B tier. I think that is a balanced weapon. I don't think it's below the point of balance. You see this, you won't see this as much on the Xbox. People on. Yo, we got Mac coming in with a sub, Mac. Mac, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate the support. I think the Eva is B tier. I think the Eva is B tier um, because there's a different weapon. <laughs> That's just better than it, and we'll get to it soon. Um, but I think the Eva is B tier. You'll see it a lot, a lot on PC. It's a lot more use, a lot more use on PC. The other weapon, of course, is the Mastiff. That thing needs a nerf, and it needs one right now. It needs a nerf right now. It got a slight nerf, a hot fix that came out a day or two ago, but that's all it got. And it was just a spawn rate nerf, so you won't see as many on the map, but it's still just as good as it was. It still can hit for almost 120. It still can hit for 100. Without attachment. Unless it's been changed. I'm seeing in the chat that it's trash now. As far as I know, when I played on Tuesday, this thing needed a nerf. For sure. They did not... They did not nerf that enough when they took it out of crates. It's still... It's still an A to S, but it's gotta, it's gotta get more of a nerf. Um, I don't know what to... Maybe it's mag size. Maybe it's uh, time between shots. Maybe it's more of a spread. So it needs to be a super close range gun. Um, I've seen people running double Mastiff. You know when you're running double of something? It's probably pretty dang good. Okay, moving on to the flatline. They took out Anvil Receiver. Anvil Receiver was... It was good in, it was very niche. It was good in situations for the R301 and the uh, flatline. I think the R301 is a little bit harder to control. It's probably good at a more medium range than the R301. This is a debatable, debatably A to B range gun. I'm gonna put it in B because sometimes I just cannot track the target for the life of me with this gun. Sometimes I cannot track for the life of me this dang gun. Sometimes it works perfectly. It hits for 20. It hits for 40. They're down in, in multiple shots. But I think that the consistency that you have with the R301 is better than the consistency that you have with the, the flatline. The flatline has a RNG uh, recoil pattern. I don't know if you've seen the videos for the R301 versus the uh, flatline. But the, the flatline is just, it's like, I hate it. 
I don't hate it. It's a good gun early game. If you're crouch spamming while you're fighting and, and you're not aiming down sights, it probably does wonders for you. But the average player, I'm going to say that this is just a balanced weapon. I don't think it's an amazing weapon. Uh, there's things that I would take over it for, uh, for sure. Okay, moving on to the G7 Scout. The G7 Scout. With the amount that you see this weapon in ranked, in casual, in pubs, in a... <laughs> This thing is still super good. It got nerfed, but I don't think it got nerfed enough. Uh, I don't know how they would nerf it more. They slowed down the projectile speed. They they decreased the time between shots. Um, I don't know if it got a magazine size nerf. It probably needs one. Spamming 20 bullets with a, a purple mag. A light purple mag on this thing is a ton of shots. Um, and yeah, I... With, with the attachments that are on these, I'm just taking those. I don't think that you need to think of these in terms of if they have the attachment or not. Some guns might be completely different, right? Like a Mozambique. A Mozambique without hammer points might be a, a D tier. But a ha uh, Mozambique with hammer points might be a, a C tier. Something like that. Um, I don't think it, it changes anything for these other weapons. I think that the... G7 with a double tap or without a double tap. Honestly, I think that it would be more like this because I think the double tap just makes it more difficult to use that weapon. But regardless, that thing is, the G7 is is S tier. I think that it needs some kind of a nerf. It's probably a magazine nerf, honestly, that it needs because you can just spam so many shots. It's such a forgiving weapon. And it's such a, this, this, this turns it in from a medium to longer range weapon into a, you know what? I can go push this person or I can go push this team uh, and kill them at short short range too. You know? This this makes it even this just increases the range scale from like a short to medium to long to fr well, I guess from a medium to longish range to a short range. And even then still, this thing is still a good short range. <laughs> uh okay, the Eva, the Eva, I wouldn't change the Eva. I would still keep that in even with double tap, I think this thing shoots faster with a purple, um, not choke, purple bolt. I think it still is more DPS with a purple bolt than it is with double tap. They may have changed that over time, uh, but I remember that being at least the rumor or the confirmed. I forget. The Havoc. All right, Havoc. All right, Havoc. You, sir. Not only can you be used as a semi-sniper rifle... Um, you can also zero to 100 somebody in fraction of a second. I think the Havoc, although it got a nerf, is still extremely good. Extremely good. I think that this needs a magazine size nerf or something to that effect. Uh... <sighs> Or an overcharge kind of... I don't know. I don't know what it needs, but it's still super good. The Havoc needs some kind of a nerf. I think that what, what Respawn has issues with is they may not know how to how to nerf some of these things more than... Uh, maybe it needs more side-to-side -side sway. Maybe it needs more... Uh, more spool up. I don't know. You do get caught in awkward scenarios sometimes and will get killed by something like the L-Star. Uh, if you're in close range, because this does take a second to spool up. But maybe it needs longer time for after sprinting to raise this weapon or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. I think that going to the next one, the, the Hemlock. I think the Hemlock's A tier. I think the Hemlock's better than the, the Flatline. I don't know why I would ever run a Flatline over a Hemlock. Unless it's a closer range endgame circle, but... The Hemlock with an Iron Sight is kind of rough. The Hemlock for single fire mode is amazing. You'll see people running, instead of a G7 Scout, they'll be running a Hemlock. And the reason is because that you can ping people from so far away for so much damage. Headshots on this thing are ridiculous. And you can just crack shields over and over and over and over. It's a super annoying weapon to go up against late in the circle because you can just keep getting pinged. You feel like you have to heal yourself. You get pinged again by this thing. You have to use another shield cell. Great weapon. I would I would put it at A tier. Uh, the burst fire is extremely good. Early game, mid game, late game. If you can control those shots, uh, people people melt with this the hemlock. Kraber, the Kraber. 
I love the Kraber. That's going to lurking in your brother's voice. Oh, thank you, Duke. I appreciate you, man. Uh, can I get a shout out for Duke? I don't know if I've got mods. In oh, I do have mods in here. Get a shout out for Duke. That man is uh, on top of his game on Mixer all the time. Super entertaining guy. Super nice guy. Um, go check him out if you guys don't know who he is. You definitely, you probably already do. Let's put it that way. Probably already do. All right. The Kraber. Oh, Kraber. I love you. I want to put you at A tier, but honestly, Mr. Kraber Crab, I think you're, I think you're S tier. I think you might need a nerf. In the hands of a casual player, when I first started, I hated this gun. I would never pick it up. I thought it was terrible. This thing is a beast. It now hits for 435. It downs any legend with a dome shot. Even if you've got a purple or gold helmet, you're down. Uh, in the hands of, if, of somebody that knows how to use this thing, it is devastating. It pierces. It's a sniper. It's so good. It is by far the best sniper rifle you can be picking up. I will drop any of these for this thing unless it's super late game. It's not a great late game, small, tiny, tight circle kind of weapon, but it is so good. So good. So good. Um, longbow without the skull piercer. I'm going to put it right next to the longbow. I think with and without skull piercer, this thing's still super good. I might, I might put the, I'm going to put that actually higher. I'm going to put with a skull piercer above because if you're hitting for over 100 with this thing and you can hit your shots, I think it's A tier. I do think the longbow is probably A tier. It's right up there with a precision choked uh, triple take. And, and a non... I think that those are very similar tiers. It depends on what you're going for. I think that the triple take is a little bit better because you can ping people for damage more reliably. L-star. Where would I put the L-star? What do you guys think? What do you guys think with the L-Star? I'll move on from the L-Star. I want to see what, what the chat thinks about L-Star. Um, all right, P2020. I think the P2020, uh, geez. I think it's probably C tier. I think it's probably C tier. You can still get kills with this thing early in the game. It's not amazing or anything by, uh, by any means. I think that with the hammer points though, it does bring it up to a good point of balance. I don't think it's overpowered. I think it's a solid weapon. Uh, you'll see teams running maybe one person with hammer points just to finish off downed enemies or to try to ping shots on those last circles where people have health and only health left. That thing's super good. Uh, even with like a 2x scope on it, just to like ping people from, from further away. Um, B tier. I'm seeing everyone's thinking L star. A lot of people are saying L star is B tier. B tier for the L star. I, I, I was going to say the same. I think that it's a good balanced weapon. Um, it's in between A and B for me. I don't know. It definitely isn't C. I think it's probably a high B. Maybe A. Maybe A. But if I look at all the weapons that are in A, it doesn't come close. It doesn't come close. Um, okay, the Peacekeeper. I have not had a chance to use the stinking Peacekeeper very much because I don't like using shotguns. I need your help again, chat, with what you think the Peacekeeper is. From S to D. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Um, okay, Prowler. Prowler on Burst Fire. Burst Fire, I still think, is an A, a tier weapon. Uh, burst Fire is a super good. The Select Fire makes it even better. I think the Select Fire starts pushing it up towards S tier. Um, but the Prowler is a very good weapon. If you can control it, it is very good. If you're a newer player, it's probably between A and B. And if you're uh, a more seasoned player, a good, a get good kind of player, you're probably between S and A. But I think that, uh, I think that even with, even with how it is with the trip, uh, just the the five bursts, I shouldn't see trip triple. Um, some people will actually run this thing on burst over select fire, and I do the same thing. I I don't like switching it over to select fire. I prefer it on burst. It's easier to get used to for me, and you can down people people quicker with it it's probably not as consistent um but i'm not looking for consistency when i take that thing out i'm looking to burst somebody down as quick as possible so we'll leave that there all right the peacekeeper i'm seeing s tier on the peacekeeper peacekeeper is roughly balanced i'm seeing s tier and a tier pk is a tier god tier okay 
So of the shotguns, if we have the Mastiff and, a and S tier, do you think that the Peacekeeper, thinking that it's a crate weapon, is it nerf worthy? Do you think it deserves some level of a nerf? With, even with it being a, piece, uh, a crate weapon. The character pa package buff, it is insane. I haven't really even used it. I uh, Maybe no nerf. No nerf. People prefer the Mastiff over the Peacekeeper. Um, is something that I've noticed. It can be used in a little bit longer range fight. I don't know if it needs a nerf. I, I, I gotta stick to what we originally talked through. I don't think that it needs a nerf. I also don't think that the Kraber really needs a nerf. Right? Does anyone think that the Kraber needs a nerf? I don't think that the Kraber needs a nerf either. You think the Kraber needs no nerf on the Kraber? I'm gonna... I think the Kraber does need a nerf. It's hard to say. I think that I think that both of these I think that both of these are right on the verge of potentially needing a nerf and not needing a nerf. I think the Devo is solid. The Devo is super solid where it's at. I think the the PK is more forgiving than the Kraber. You could maybe jack up by a little bit the the reload speed on the Kraber or the time between shots on the Kraber. Um I don't think it needs a nerf though. I'm gonna put okay, so let's just keep let's just say the oh not all three. The Kraber and the Peacekeeper are pretty much S tier because they are crate weapons, but I don't I personally don't think they need a nerf. The Kraber maybe a little bit because it is so good. The Peacekeeper maybe a little bit, but I haven't used it, so I can't really speak to it too much. Spitfire. I think that the Spitfire. Where are you, Spitfire? Point of balance. Point of balance. Do you think it's the point of balance? I think the Spitfire is pretty balanced. Going up against a squad of Spitfires, though, I kind of hate the thing. R99 should be S tier. Do you think that? Do you think the R99 needs a nerf? I think it's. I think it's kind of. I think the Spitfire is kind of balanced. I think it's in a good spot. I think the Spitfire is in a good spot. Uh, okay, the Wingman. Okay, so here's the thing with the Wingman. This tier maker in tier list has it with a Skull Piercer. But I think what's more important is the mag. <laughs> if you don't have a mag on this thing, it's tough. Uh, it's tough. I think it's a balanced weapon. I would pick up every single one of the weapons in A tier and S tier before I'd pick up the wingman. But that said, hold on. Hold on. With the skull piercer, I think it gets up into A. I think it's better than the weapons down here. I think it's right around here with this with a skull piercer. Um you can get shots off quick. I think it's I think it's A tier. You'll see a lot of pros still running this thing. You'll see people in ranked running this thing. I'm gonna go with A. Without a skull piercer, I'm gonna go with B. I think it's a balanced weapon. You really need the mag increase. You need a you need some kind of a heavy mag on this thing. I really think you do. Um, it's super unforgiving. You need to be placing those shots, taking your time. It's it's one of the few guns that I feel like you really just need to like. Some people just want to spam. I gotta get that shot off, but it's like. Boom. I know where you're going to be. Boom. Sometimes you just got to slow it down with that thing. Uh, and make sure you're placing your shots. When it had 12 shots in the mag. And headshots were doing over 100 damage. I have a few clips of that. From way back in the day. That thing was S tier. That thing was S plus. S plus plus. So good. No damage drop off either I think. It, whoo, whoo. Dang, it was so good. It was so good. All right, so that's that's what I'm going to go with for the tiers of weapons in season five of Apex Legends. Um, and we're what, about halfway, halfway through the season or close, 
Not even close. Maybe a third of the way through the season? Yeah. That's that's it. That's a wrap. That's it for the tears. Alright. Cool. Let's get some music playing again. <laughs> 